Convoy's approximately 20 mics out from the LRP. Clear and hold the AQI headquarters until the resupply convoy arrives. Alright. Hey guys, Drewski here. And today we're playing some Six Days in Fallujah. The, uh, the developers gave me an early copy to the game. And so I thought I'd try out the one mission that we're allowed to show you guys. Check out this Amtrak. And this M16 in this extremely cluttered street. Look, look at the detail here. This is nuts. How just high fidelity everything is. If I uh, turn my performance set, uh, stats on here, I've got 239 FPS, so almost running what my monitor's refresh rate is. This is on a 13900K with a RTX 4090. So obviously a beastly PC, but also being able to play a game early that's running 240 frames at ultra at 1440p. Kinda nuts. Kinda crazy. Especially one that looks as good as this. Look at all this. This is amazing. Um, Six Days of Fallujah, a game where you breach compounds in the second battle of Fallujah of 2004 as a US Marine. You're outfitted with an M16 A2? A4? I think A2? Uh, and you've got an ACOG which is not fitted very well for close quarters environments. Uh, and I've got a 203 on this thing too. The bad thing about the M16 though, is that while it is a great rifle for shooting very far ranges with 5.56, it's not great for clearing rooms and clearing houses and sweeping through tiny tight spaces because, wow, holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna go in this house, I guess. Was I, I feel like I was blocked off over here though. I feel like, I'm... maybe I can go in this way. Um, you have a 20 inch barrel out in front of you, plus a full stop, non-collapsible. It's, are we taking fire? I can't tell. I can't tell. Yep. Okay, we, def we definitely were taking fire from over here. The sound design's interesting. It's, it's almost um, a little confusing to tell where rounds are coming from. Oh man, this is bad. It's really confusing to tell where rounds are coming from. I think it's because of the reverb from all of the different walls here. All these different concrete houses must have been... Oh, I think... Yep, there we go. And, uh, this game has actually taught me something that I didn't really know. Because I actually have a rifle that's outfitted like this. Ah, come on. Oh my gosh. I, I can't kill the PKM gunner, man. Oh, I'm open to that. Check for wounds. Oh, I'm not, okay, I'm not hit. That's interesting. So you can check for wounds, but you might not actually be hit. You might just not be sure yet. The adrenaline makes it nearly impossible sometimes to tell if you've been shot or not. So that's a common thing. Okay, PKM gunner is dead dead. Jeez, dude. Yeah, this is not a game like Ready or Not, man. You aren't running around with SOT Mod, Mark 18s, with 10-3 barrels and suppressors. You're running around with a freaking cannon. And you're having to clear these tiny, tiny compounds filled with insurgents, filled with booby traps. If they, uh... Yeah, this is the this is the complex. Okay, my, uh, 15 rounds. Oh my gosh, this is usually meant for four players, not for one. So this is uh, I think this mission is not scaling to me just being solo. We're getting a four-player co-op experience as a single person. I need to get into this house now. I should have worked my way into the bottom. But it is interesting, though, uh, what I was saying earlier, I think I got interrupted by the PKM guy, um, was that this game taught me about this this point shooting method that they have. Because I actually have a, a rifle like this in real life. I have a uh, FN AR-15, basically, that is built like a Marine M16. And uh, I have an ACOG on it that's the same, sort of the same setup as this, minus the 203. Just because I like this setup. I like long-barreled ARs. 556 five, uh, terminal ballistics are really cool when you get out that long barrel out. But uh, 
I didn't know that Marines aimed like this for point shooting because they didn't really have like red dots or things like that a lot of the time. It was a lot of Marines just had the carry handle, iron sights. They didn't have anything high tech at all. And we are being suppressed like crazy here. Jeez, dude. I have the game really loud as well, so I am being blasted <laughs> right now. Oh, I'm bleeding crap. I'm being blasted every time something ambushes me. You just can't play this game quietly, though. You can't. This is a game that needs to be played very loudly. Look at the detail. There's the sunglasses. I'm gonna get distracted and die. Yeah, the some of the accounts that I've read from Fallujah was that, like, you know, you'd clear 20 houses and they'd be empty. Maybe one of them had civilians. And then you clear one house, and it has, th like, 15 guys in it who are all heavily armed insurgents that have prepared a multi-step process plan of how they're going to kill you and end your life. Those animations are a bit like Escape from Tarkov's breach animation, where you're locked in whenever you're uh, kicking the door down, so that's kind of a not great thing. I'd like to have a little bit more flexibility when kicking doors like that. Maybe just an animation from myself that I can still move around with. Because it kind of locked me in. I couldn't even aim, to, aim down sight as quick as I wanted to. Ooh, okay. And that's interesting. I don't think that that insurgent saw me, but he's able to still, like, detect me and suppress. I can't see him at all. That is so dark. I'm going to have to work. Someone just jumping. Over. I need to get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. You're never supposed to. Um, I guess stairs are always bad, but you're never supposed to uh, clear downstairs. You're supposed to go down to up. I'm a little airsoft operator, so you got to know that I've got some limited knowledge here, but I have played a fair share of, you know, Battlefield 4, so I've. I know what room clearing is like, all right? But, wow, dude, oh my gosh, this game looks amazing. Jeez. So, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but uh, these maps are procedurally generated maps. Where's this? Yeah, he's gotta be in that hole. Okay, he's dead. These are procedurally generated maps. Every time you play, insurgents are in different positions. That's not good. Um, insurgents are in different positions. The buildings, the rooms, are all different every single time you play. So there's never a mission that you'll encounter twice because it's it's literally like Minecraft seeds where you can type in a random number and it will generate a mission based on that number, which is super cool. So you might remember like the house, but then the house might have a barricade in a certain spot that it wasn't in before. Um... Jeez. You know, it's actually interesting. One of the accounts that I've I've read a long time ago about Fallujah was talking about the, the clotheslines and how when the civilians left the city, because most of them left, but there were still civilians that remained, um, all the clotheslines were empty. So there were, there were wires from window to window, but they would just be empty wires. They'd be empty pieces of string because the strings would usually hold up clothes to dry. When the battle happened, it was something like 90% of the civilian populace was... Oh, man, I'm dead. I'm so dead, right? Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. But it, most of the civilian populace was gone, so all of the little clotheslines were were empty by a few, a few days in. Jeez, this game is tough. <laughs> this game is really tough because the AI move around. Like, we were about to breach a house. I look outside, and there's an AI jumping over a wall. So, really, really tough game. I don't know if I'll be able to complete this mission solo. This is meant for four players. This is my first day playing the game. That scope rendering method isn't great. It's kind of fuzzy. I don't know if that's just because I'm playing at a higher resolution, like 1440p, but the scope rendering is kind of fuzzy. It's like it, it does magnify things, but it also just makes it fuzzier. Harder to see even just a little bit. All right. So this alleyway was the big culprit where a lot of guys were. 
but they're not here this time. I'm gonna try to clear. Oh my gosh. See, I don't know if that. It, those gunshots don't sound very close. Like, uh, the, the sound design's interesting. Yeah, what the heck? So, yeah, none of those guys sounded like they were um, anywhere close to me when they were first firing. Those gunshots, those AK sounds, sound like they're 200 meters away. Like, I get what the sound designer is going for, which is occlusion behind walls and a little bit of that reverb sound, but there's, like, so much echo that these guns... These guns sound super far away. I don't know if that's the intention of the sound designer. Alright, let's get into this compound. Yeah, but just imagine doing this with these super long barrels. Terrifying. Oh my gosh. I'm getting wrecked from behind. And I'm dead. It is cool how those AI suppress, though. Like, they don't know exactly where I am, but they're still shooting. I'm pretty sure they're shooting in my old position. Like, that shooter sounds 200 meters away. To me. And he's 10 feet. He's 10 feet. There should be very little reverb on that gunshot. You guys run around with a handgun. Did he take cover there too? I think he took cover. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna watch it for a second. Here, we can end it with two or three. <laughs> and that's the quietest two or three ever. <laughs> okay, yeah, the sound design is like really good in some places, but then also almost dysfunctional in others. If that makes sense. I, I hope I'm not, like, being overly critical of it. But that 203 should be a lot louder. Okay, let's breach this small house. Oh, man, the graphical fidelity is just nuts, though. See, like, I think this guy's in this room, I'm guessing. But it doesn't sound like it. Yeah, he's right here. It sounded like he was a house over. I... His gunshots sounded like they were across a city street. Okay. Should be okay. Jeez, that was, uh... Yeah, I had to pull out the M9 there. Got a bandage. Hopefully nobody runs up on me right now. Yeah, I don't think we're making it out alive, but I'm just gonna see how long I can go. Using the over-the-ACOG fiber optic sighting method. think okay I hear muffled yelling like really muffled yelling he's oh Ooh. okay yeah, I got locked into that animation too I'm not a huge fan of that he might have been in there I don't know that's a way I'd use that in squad at least it's like, oh, you're inside that house? All right, bye. <laughs> Let's see if we have any, uh, sidelines from up here. Wow, this place is super deep. I mean, just look at the different colors of these bricks. And, holy man. Yeah, the map designer deserves insane praise. This is just insane amounts of detail. It's a whole playground over there. You can see smoke in the distance from other battles. You can hear other gunshots. The atmosphere is amazing. And again, the sound... Sound sounds good, it's just functionality-wise. Functionally. It needs a bit of work. Let's go through here. Very... Foliage-heavy area here. Oh, I keep pressing that button. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the super, super long vault animation while you're locked in. You can't really move. You can't aim your rifle. 
and you can't get your rifle up quickly. There's a little kill hole here. Murder hole. <laughs> he just barely, he barely made it. Jeez, dude. Ugh. Sounds like they're directly to my left. Not apparently. You're up there? What? <laughs> I thought that was like a... I don't know if I'm going crazy or if I'm being repetitive and annoying with the, uh, with... That was weird. I hear voices outside the way I came. Looks like they flanked around, maybe? Yep, oh, oh, he's zoomed out to the right. He's a fast gamer. All right. Oh, wait, what? Oh, over there. Okay, I don't... No way that that's the guy that was shooting at me. Man, that that's so weird. There's got to there's got to be something up with it. Okay, I'm going to push this compound. I hope I can just I hope I can clear enough guys out that I can Oh, can I? Yeah. Okay. I hope I can actually complete this. I want to complete this mission really bad. I want to solo this. It's just that it gets so messy later on. It's hard to do. The game is genuinely very difficult. Oh, is he outside that? I think I saw his... Yep. Or no, that's... Oh, he's up top, up here. What are you shooting at? Oh, that would be... Oh my gosh, this room is hell to clear. Jeez. Some of these buildings, man. The procedural generation is really cool how it changes every time. It is really cool to have totally dynamic compounds and stuff. Makes it much more difficult to clear everything out perfectly. Oh my gosh, hello. Okay, so I think he fired at me. Um, I could hear the impacts of the rounds. I could not hear the report of the rifle at all. I'm pretty sure right then. Okay, so this was the mortar crew. That's good. What do I do to them? Do I have to go? Oh, I just kick them. I'm kicking the mortars down. You're done. All right, let's guess how far is that shooter? How far is that shooter? Is he? Is he? He's in this house. What the? Okay. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, let's get up to that main building now, please. Just want to get to the main building. Oh man, those dark windows are terrifying, dude. I'm guessing that's in here. I do like the reverb of uh, indoor sounds. I know in the uh, in the gameplays that I've seen of people playing together, all the uh, VoIP the. Get locked into that animation. You can't move. You get placed in a place that you don't want to be. Like you jump over that, and it it didn't it didn't put me there when I jumped over it. it put me out in the middle, of the room, right there. Not great uh, for CQB stuff. Hello. Oh, he went outside. Okay. Okay. 
think that's gonna be up top or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Big room. A lot of people. I'm gonna back out for a second. I also wish I could close doors behind me or chalk them or something. Like in uh, Ready or Not. I was reloading. How did I get... Welp. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this alone. I think this is definitely a four-player co-op game for a reason. But uh, didn't have anybody at the time to, to record with. So that'll be the video for today. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a... I mean, maybe I sound like I'm being overly critical, but I'm being critical because I know that they'll watch this and I know that maybe some feedback might actually go in somewhere. Um, but it still is the best, like, simulator for Fallujah combat. It's obviously pretty early right now. I still, I still think it is kind of clunky. I don't know what patches they have before launch. I, I think that there's definitely some work to be done. When I talk about this game, just know I'm comparing it to games like Ready or Not or Ground Branch, things like that that I'm used to, but also have been smoothened out and have had a few years to really go through their polishing. This is definitely brand new, amazing graphics, beautiful sound. It's just the functionality of that sound is not great, but still really cool. And I, I think that the game overall also needs an FOV slider. I don't know why it doesn't. I feel like the FOV has me looking down a PVS-14. Um, I just feel like I'm stuck at like 60 degrees field of view. I feel like I'm playing Fallout 3 on the Xbox 360. And that's really bad whenever you're going in these really close quarters and having to watch corners. Give me higher field of view. I know it's a cinematic experience maybe, something like that. There's probably some reasoning behind it. Maybe it's just going to be added in later. but at least give me 90 even for cqb games i'd like i usually set mine to 100 because that allows me to really feel the room around me and feel the scale of everything right now it feels very claustrophobic uh but overall cool game like really cool i i like the possibilities here i'm questioning whether the game is really going to reach out to many other modes and game modes and stuff because i don't know about the game's longevity but as I don't want to call it like a tech demo, but but as a showcase of this specific part of war, it's very well done. Um, it's just, it needs some polish, and I feel like it might not be enough for most people just as this, just as this with a few modes, with a few maps. Um, I, I don't know, you would have to be a person who really wants specifically the Fallujah CQB experience rather than something like grabbing ready or not or ground branch and having multiple modes pvp pve different guns weapon customization a lot more features overall you can still equip an m16 in those games but you just won't get the crazy graphical authenticity of fallujah you won't get the vibe you won't get the obviously focus and marine input that we've had with this game this game obviously has a ton of military feedback and i can tell that a lot of things have been kind of bounced off of veterans and brought into the game as, as features. So, really cool game, very promising. Excited to see where it goes. Thank you for watching, by the way. Uh, appreciate you always coming by and checking out the channel. Uh, last few days have been crazy. We've been blowing up our sub count lately. Uh, I made a joke like last video that we were at 1.69 million subs and just like in two days we're gonna hit 1.7 so that's pretty neat already 300k away from 2 million which is awesome thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one thank you to the fallujah devs as well for sending me a free copy of the game to check out early i appreciate you a lot see ya